When buying a new TV, the different technologies can be confusing. Marketing terms like OLED, QLED, and LED may all seem the same to you, but they actually refer to different panel types. Each technology offers different advantages and disadvantages to the picture quality, and this article explains the unique characteristics of QLED, OLED, and LED TVs. In terms of contrast ratio and black uniformity, QLEDs and LED are very similar, since they use the same technology with the backlight. Most TV use VA panels, which are generally known to have a high contrast ratio that produces deep blacks, and most high-end models have a local dimming feature that further deepens black level. However, some TV have uniformity issues that cause blooming around bright objects, but this can vary between units. Local dimming can also help reduce any blooming. There are also different types of LCD panels, IPS and VA. The large majority of LED and QLED TV use VA panels, and IPS panels are usually found with LG models. VA type panels have excellent contrast, while IPS panels have poor contrast, resulting in blacks that look gray. That's why most TV use VA panels, since having a higher contrast ratio improves the overall picture quality. OLEDs have perfect black level because they can individually turn off each pixel. If you're watching a movie and there are black bars at the edges, those parts of the screen are completely black as if the TV is turned off, so you can focus entirely on the movie. Also, there's no blooming around bright objects on OLED. Our gray uniformity tests determine how well a TV displays a single color, and in this case, we test it using a gray image. There are no TV with perfect uniformity. LED TVs, QLED TVs, and OLED TV have different issues displaying entirely uniform color. As shown in our pictures above, a gray image appears more uniform on most OLED. Both LED TV show imperfections on the sides, as well as darker patches across the screen and in the corners. This is especially noticeable with the Samsung TV. OLEDs are generally better and more consistent with uniformity because of how each pixel is independent of the others, while LED TV rely on a backlight which, if damaged, can result in uniformity issues. Below are pictures of 5% gray, which is near dark, and both LED and OLEDs don't have many issues displaying pure black images. Uniformity issues are most noticeable while watching sports or if you're using the TV as a PC monitor, where there are large areas of solid hockey rinks, football fields, or even grassy hills have an unpleasant patchy or even dirty look on a TV with poor uniformity. This makes OLED TV excellent for sports, but OLEDs still aren't perfect, as there are tiny vertical and horizontal lines that you may notice in near-dark scenes. LED and QLEDs both rely on an LED backlight to emit light, and as such, they're both subject to the same strengths and weaknesses. With LED slash QLED, the brightness varies considerably depending on the specific model, and this explains why the Samsung is significantly brighter than the Sony X900H. The flagship models, like the Samsung Q90T or the Sony X950H, tend to get the brightest, and each model below those becomes less bright. The most obvious thing we can see is that LED slash QLED TV gets significantly brighter than... However, LED slash QLED TV can maintain the same peak brightness with different content, especially if the entire... This means that LED slash QLED TV can make small highlights in some scenes extremely bright, but if the entire scene is bright, the brightness decreases significantly. OLEDs also suffer from the same issue, especially with HDR content. They have an aggressive automatic brightness limiter, ABL that limits the brightness of the screen. So if you plan on watching a ton of HDR content, highlights don't stand out as much as on QLED and LED TV. When QLEDs first became available, their main advantage against traditional LED TV was their ability to display very wide color gamuts for HDR content. Although they still do, the competition has caught up and most high-end TV can produce the wide color gamut needed for HDR. Even Samsung has been passed by other manufacturers in terms of color gamut. As you can see here, the LG actually displays a wider color gamut than the Samsung, and the Sony isn't far behind. Vizio is known for their wide color gamuts with their Quantum.TV, and the Vizio M7 series Quantum 2020 actually has the widest color gamut we've tested, with perfect coverage of the DCI-P3 color space used in most content. A TV color gamut also has an effect on the color volume, which is what colors a TV can display at different luminance levels. A TV with good color volume can display bright and dark colors. This is where QLED is superior to an LED or OLED, Flagship QLEDs tend to get brighter, combined with their wide color gamut, they display a good color volume. Some high-end LED TV can also have a good color volume, but it won't be as good as a QLED. Also, because OLEDs don't get very bright, they have trouble displaying bright colors. 
but don't have any problems with dark colors thanks to their near-infinite contrast ratio. The pixels on OLEDs emit light in all directions, resulting in very wide viewing angles. This means that the image remains accurate when viewing from the side. So if you have a wide seating arrangement or you tend to watch TV with a large group of people, then an OLED is the ideal choice. LED slash QLED TV with VA panels normally have narrow viewing angles, so you notice an inaccurate image the moment you start viewing off center. However, IPS panel types have wide viewing angles, but not many manufacturers use this panel type because they also come with a low contrast rate. Manufacturers have also started to implement new technologies with their VA type panels to improve the viewing angles. As you can see above, the Samsung has wider viewing angles than the Sony thanks to Samsung's ultra viewing angle layer, even though they use the same panel type. In the end, neither QLED nor LED come close to matching the wide viewing angles on OLED TV. Now it's your turn, which one impresses you the most? Let us know in the comment section below. Also, do share and subscribe to our channel for further video notifications.